My name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Indigo Prophecy. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. Let's begin with something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. Perfect. Now you know how to move about. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. To do so, you'll have direct control of the cameras. Come on, give it a try. You can also look around you and see But you won't be just looking around you in Indigo Prophecy. You'll also have to interact with your environment. Go to the door. Do you see the symbol at the top of the screen? It indicates the movement you have to make to execute the action. Do it slowly to really feel you're controlling your character's hand. Go ahead. That's cool. Now that you know how to move about, use the cameras and interact with the environment, we can move on to more serious stuff. Indigo Prophecy has action sequences where your character's life will be in danger. I'd better explain this to you before you find yourself on your own.
when this symbol appears at the top of the screen, it means your character is gonna have to make a physical effort. You'll see, you'll be exhausted too. You have to press each side alternately and regularly if you want to succeed. Oh, looks like you need more training. Try again. You have to press each side alternately and regularly if you want to succeed. Oh, looks like you need more training. Try again. You have to press each side alternately and regularly if you want to succeed. Oh, looks like you need more training. Try again. Hey, not bad. Now for something a bit more difficult. You're gonna find yourself facing all kinds of dangers in Indigo Prophecy. You're gonna need a cool head and good reflexes if you want to survive. Let's see how it works. Okay, I see you've got the hang of it. Now we can move on to something else. You can also choose what you want to say in the dialogues in Indigo Prophecy. Let's give it a try. Um, what do you think of my friend Bob? Hey Bob, did you hear that? Right, I see you've got the hang of the dialogues. In Indigo Prophecy, you'll only have a limited amount of time to make up your mind. So you'd better think fast. Now, let's talk about your mental health. In Indigo Prophecy, your actions modify the psychological state of your character. Each time it changes, the symbol will appear on screen. Take care of your character, otherwise you may fall into depression, madness, or even commit suicide. Oh, I nearly forgot something important. In Indigo Prophecy, you'll be able to control all the main characters. Be careful. Your every action will have consequences for the story. A word of advice, think before you act. That's it. I've told you everything I know. Or nearly everything. There are still lots of things to discover, but I'll leave you the surprise of finding them for yourself. Now it's up to you to play. And be careful. You're entering a world where anything can happen. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside. What of you? I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth, and you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos.
What? What, what have I done? I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Quick. I... I've, I've got to get out of here, but before somebody comes in here... <laughs>